Hello everyone, welcome back to our video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to beat Tower Shattered Dreams on mobile. Now I'm going to be doing one of the one of the world's worst towers ever, Tower Shattered Dreams. So let's start the going now. Three, time and go. So start off, you walk to this truss, then climb up it, and then jump to this truss carefully. Once you climb to the top of it, just jump on these trusses like this. Then jump on these platforms. And then carefully jump onto these one studs. Some of them are transparent, but they shouldn't be too hard. Then jump up to this truss and then climb up to, to here. Then press shift lock to go down. And then jump on the swing platform. Follow be patient. And then jump off to this platform when it gets to there. Do it carefully. And then jump onto this one platform. Then to this one. Got these diagonal to I mean, till the platforms and out floor too. So for this section, just go this way and, and get yourself near the bottom of the slope. You that's the east way to do it. And then go to the bottom of that one last slope and then go up to there. Jump up to that one so don't bonk your head and anyways. Rush through this kill brick and then do some head hitters. Then jump on these spams on studs. And then these tilled one studs. Um, and yes, there's going to be lots of spam parts in this tower. Anyways, jump on to the slope and then jump on these. Then do this long jump carefully like that. Then carefully jump to these platforms and then... And then jump to down to this platform and then go onto this tight rope. And when you get to here, jump onto this tight rope. And then after you do all of that, just jump onto these platforms and then jump to this middle when it gets to that position. Jump off to this platform when it gets to there. And then when you get to here, carefully go up this tight rope like this and slowly. Anyways, once you've done that, just go across these platforms and then carefully jump onto this tilt platform. And then when you get to this position, do it like a head hitter at that part. And now it's floor three now. So to start off, we just jump on the middle parts. It's really not that hard. That's just easy. That's just do it, just like that. And then jump on these still one studs. And then we want to do for this part is carefully jump to this side of the truss, climb up it to here, then do what I just did. After you do that, just do a long jump like this, and then jump down to this platform, then do a few wrap rounds. <laughs> Then after you do that, just clap this truss to here, and then press, then do the same thing, but a bit easier. And then carefully jump to this platform, and then do these like head hitters. Um, I know I'm doing this actually. Just jump to this platform, and then down to this one. And for these three platforms, go quickly because they're falling platforms. Once you've done that, just go on this tight rope. Then jump to this platform. Then jump down to this these tilted one studs. And then carefully jump to here on these platforms and then go across this beam. And then when you get to here, jump onto this platform and then to this one. Then just do it's like a wraparound gonna go on the ladder. And be patient and wait for the moving platform to come to you. Just don't fall for it and then carefully jump onto the moving platform quickly. Let it take you to here, then when it gets to this position, quickly jump off to this truss. Climb up to the top of it and then jump onto these spears will take us to the first outside section of the free. This is the least stressful one though. Because it's the lowest one. And um, because it's also the easiest one. So just jump on these small small platforms. Then jump on some more. I'm ready. And then go on these. And then Carefully jump to this one, then do this wrap round, and then carefully do this, and then do this like a wrap round on the head or, or head hit and wrap and a head hitter. Then carefully climb up this ladder, then press the jump button, and that's how you do that part. Do that wrap round, then do another wrap round like that. Then jump onto oh. here, and this is an OWO, which is a funny face. Anyways, and then jump off to here. Then jump onto these swing platforms. 
And then after you do those, just jump up to this truss. Go near to the top and then press the jump button to land on this one stud because it's easier. Then just jump on these one studs and then jump onto this platform and then go back and then just jump on these. Don't hug the wall because you'll fall if you do that. And then carefully do a long jump like that. Then when you get to this X, just do it like a wrap around and then carefully jump down to here. Okay, and then after that you just do it, go do a wrap around again. Jump onto this one and carefully for the last jump, just jump to the top of the vex like that and now floor five so again just be patient away from the moving platform just don't risk it by the way there's about three moving platforms in the tower i think and quickly rush to this moving platform then let it take you to here and then jump onto these these beams and then just do some simple jumps and then just then do and just do some kill bricks with a dodging then after you do that, just jump to here and then do some head hitters. I'll do those, just then just jump to here, then to this beam and then, and then walk on to this walk on walk on the cylinder and then carefully jump down to here. Then jump on some more one studs and then jump to this one and then to this one and it's a spam. Then carefully jump onto that one and then to this one and then and then after you do these jumps, just carefully jump down to this one. Then for the un unindicated conveyors, carefully go like this. Just do what I'm doing right now. Then for the annoying a jump, just carefully just go like that. And then carefully, when you get to here, just do the same thing you did in floor 3. And then carefully jump down to this platform. Jump on some more of these. Go to here and then do this like a head hitter and then walk across it to get safer. And anyways, after you do that, just jump onto that stud, then do some more kill brick dodging and then these kill brick wraparounds. Then go to this platform, jump to there and then once I'm on this floor, just walk across this platform. Then carefully jump down to this X pusher. Then push it to here carefully and then do it while you're shift locking. And then do the same thing again. After you do those, just jump on these thin platforms. Then go, go across this tight rope, which will take us to floor 6. So, so firstly, just jump on these these blocks. And then after you do that, just walk across these. And then we'll get to a ver another undercade conveyors. These are also very annoying. So you want to hold forward for the whole section. Just carefully go like this. Then for the second one, just go like that. Keep holding the jump button. And then carefully just go tilt the screen quickly to that one. Then quickly tilt the screen to here. Although, thankfully, it's only four conveyors, but still annoying though. Then just ignore that. Just climb up this ladder and then just do that. Then jump to this platform and then jump down to here. Then for this part, you just quickly rush through these so they don't take too much damage. After you do that, just jump on these beams that are tilted. And then jump on these one studs. Then jump down to this one. And then carefully go to here. Then do this like a head hitter, which will take us to floor 7 now. So this will be the second outside section, and it's more scarier. This is the second one out of the three. And the, and if you fall, there's a chance you can save yourself on the floor for outside section. Anyways, just go in the middle. Not hug the wall because, like I said. And anyways, just go to here. Then for a, one of the worst parts. And then just, all that and just, then just jump onto these spears. The easiest way to do that is just, do a, just go like that. It's very hard, but once you get the hang of it, it gets a bit easier. Then do this X push and then jump to the here. To here. Then after you do all those, just jump onto this beam. Go up to here. Then jump onto these smaller platforms. Carefully jump on these. I oh, don't do anything, just land on it carefully. Then carefully land onto this platform. Go up these and then jump to this truss. 
go up it until you get to here and then press shift lock. You can carefully jump to here and then do some e even more head hitters. Then go quickly on these because they fall. Just keep rushing until you get to here. Then jump down to this beam and then jump on some more small platforms. Jump to this tilted beam and then there's like a head hitter and basically this on entire floors is an outside section. Jump back inside to this tower and then carefully walk through this walk through this beam and then carefully go across this half stub beam. And now what floor eight? We've got a few more floors to go. So firstly, just go across that beam and then go through then jump quickly through the swing platforms. So just do what I'm doing on the screen right now. Then to here. Then carefully jump onto this one stutter, then jump onto this side of the truss. Climb up to the top of it, I'm going to get to one of the scary sections. This kill brick spinner, so go like that. And then when you think you're ready, just carefully, just start rushing. Just make sure you rush this section. So make sure you heal here so you can get back to full health. Maybe just heal at least to three quarters of your health. And then when you're ready, you just rush this section. Okay. So, like I said, when you're ready, just continue rushing through these parts. And so you just continue going like this. Just carefully, quick, okay, and quickly go through these. And there's also going to be... And this section will be familiar on floor 10. You'll see why. Might be foreshadowing. Anyways... Go onto these swing platforms and, and then carefully climb up this truss to here and then jump to this one stud. Oh, then jump on some more one studs and then walk across this beam. Then jump to here. Then after you do all that, just walk across this beam and then to this one. And now at floor 9 now. Second to last floor until the worst floor of the tower in my opinion. So go across this beam, then jump to this one, then jump to this one. Sometimes the difficulty is inaccurate, other times it's too easy or way too hard. Anyways, just go to here, then jump to these one studs, and then yeah, you, I think you might get the point at this point. It's just spam gameplay. So go across these, then jump up on these till the black beams and then go jump on some more let's ignore that background and then just go across another tight rope and stop to here then jump to here and then go across this half stud beam then walk across it again then jump to here then go across the middle just ignore that some playing outside. Anyways, go across these beams and then jump to the top here. Jump down to this one and then and then go across to this one. Then just jump carefully, jump down to here and then go quickly because they're falling platforms. Then jump onto here and then and then carefully walk across this and then do one final head hitter. And now at floor ten, the worst floor. Not because I think the outside's bad, but because of the kill brick spinner. It's just sometimes, it's just main, mo you can mainly mess up here. But firstly for this part, carefully go on this in on the indicator conveyor. Then wait for this moon platform to come out. This is the last moon platform, I think. So when it comes to you, quickly jump to here and then wait for it to take you to there. And when it gets into this position, jump onto these beams and then walk across this beam to take us to the final section which is the se third section on the three it's the most stressful one but there's also a chance you can save yourself on the floor seven outside section anyways so firstly jump on these one studs then just jump on some more then carefully jump down onto the slope and then another one then go across this wedge and when you get to here jump across to this one then we're going to get to a scary part well, basically, what you need to do is carefully try and calculate where the middle invisible part is. So, just 
do I do? Go across it like that, although it is very scary and hard. After you do that, just go across this red wedge and then this one. After you do that, just go across this tightrope. And then just go jump to here, then carefully jump down to this one stud. Go up some more. Now, you'll see why. This is the worst section. If you have a healing item, use it. So carefully, just wait. Carefully, this is the whole section. There was no stop to do. This will be pain though. So I'm just going to take a breather for a moment. Okay, so when you think you're ready, just try and time your jumps carefully. So, I'm going to do this in three, two, one, go. So, start off, you go to here. Just go like this. Oh, and then you can just keep jumping until you think you're at high enough health. Just keep doing this. I'm waiting here so I can heal the full health to make it easier. This, trust me, this will help. Just keep doing this until I don't know where you are above like seventy percent of your health. Okay, when you think you're ready, just carefully drop on these one studs. Finally, we have done that set very annoying section. And that is why that's the worst section in the tower. But anyways, once you've done that, the game hit play kind of slowly goes back a bit easier. All you need to go do is go across this beam and then do it that wrap around like that. And then this one like that. Go on the left side because I think it's a bit easier. Then go across this beam and then when we get to another... This sign is a kind of funny sign. It's UWU. Kind of looks like the, uh, the cute mouth. And after you do that, just jump on these one studs. Then, after that, we got... Just jump on this spinner, and then jump onto this spinner when it gets to that position, and then... So, just going to take a breather for a moment. But when you think you're ready, jump on the side of the truss, climb up to the top of it, press jump button, and then we got one final obstacle. This tightrope. So, just go across this long tightrope. Then carefully jump to this beam, walk across it, and then jump to the wind pad. And that, and that was an adventure. And that's how to beat Tower's Shattered Dreams. Anyways, I hope this guide helped you, and bye.